Okay, as soon as I read that I'm trying to find the time, go slow and careful. Find the time at which the particle reaches its highest point. So, let me move some of these out of the way for a minute. As soon as I read that I'm looking for the time when the particle reaches the highest point, I'm going to write because I do a lot better if I'm writing versus just thinking. So I'm looking for when, you know, when is y of t, the position of the particle, greatest. So that's a min-max theorem question. So I apply the min-max theorem to this situation. So the max of, in this case, y of t, it's going to be where y of t begins, where y of t ends, or at a relative max of y of t. Key thing right here in bold is I'm looking for where the derivative of y, so looking for v of t is equal to zero. We practiced these before quite a bit. So I want to find where v of t is equal to zero. Uh, that's going to be when t equals, and now I have to use the calculator. So I've got my formula for velocity here. Uh, they don't give me a window. They just say time is greater than zero. So my choice, start at zero, <clears throat> and then go to five. Zoom fit. I'm going to get this picture here. So I need to find this time right here when the um, velocity is zero. Pause for just one second. Okay, so grabbing the calculator, I can do second trace. I need to find the zero. That's number two. Uh, this is one. Let's see. My window here. I think the window got changed. Let's fix this. So the window will go zero to five. Zoom fit. So this is one, two, three, four five because my window is zero to five. So when I go to find my zero, number two, uh, framing between about zero and one seems appropriate, one. And then it's close, so we'll just hit enter. So the zero is 0.443. So we need to write that down. So velocity is equal to zero when time is equal to point, oops, pen, point four four three. A little bit of a shortcut on this problem. You should notice that from time equals zero to time equal point four four three, every value of the velocity is positive. So that means or times zero two point four four three. I start exactly <coughs> excuse me exactly at zero, but I go up to but not including point four four three because that's where the velocity is zero. For this time period, the velocity is positive. So. Um, y of t is increasing, the particle's going up. Then for different time period, so for time greater than 0.443, forever more, I don't know that for certain, it does appear from this graph that the velocity is going to stay like so, 
I could make my window a little bigger, a little bigger, get comfortable that the velocity is going to stay negative. So for this time period, V of T is negative. So Y of T is decreasing. Uh, therefore, three dots in the shape of a triangle are a legal symbol on the AP test. Therefore, Y of T is greatest at t equal 0.443. Checking how points were awarded, I got one point for remembering the min-max theorem, which was, since I'm trying to find the max of y, the position, I need to focus on the derivative of the position. The derivative of the position is velocity. So this statement right here in this green box, if you have that written on your paper, that will earn you this point here. Uh, my apologies, you actually get both points. So the first two points are for that green box. Justification is the blue and the pink. So the rest of it, we'll put that in a red box. So all of that earned you the last point. It's a good example of where uh, you do what you can. If you don't get all the points on a given problem, that's okay. Just keep getting as many as you can. So one point for all of that. Two points for simply recognizing that.